Indianapolis public schools are supposed to reopen in about nine weeks. Administrators want to know what it's going to take to convince parents it's safe enough to send their children back to classrooms. We need to know uh, what, what is top of mind for our families and our parents. Superintendent Alicia Johnson. What conditions, if any, would either um, encourage them and, and make them feel as safe as possible and confident as possible in their child returning for in-person learning. The school district's early plans include an e-learning option for parents who don't want their children in a classroom or riding a school bus. New safety procedures to keep kids six feet apart on buses, in classrooms, cafeterias, and hallways. Other school districts are wrestling with the same issues. Some are considering staggered start times or reducing class sizes by having children attend every other day. IPS is buying 21,000 more computers to make it easier for kids to learn from home. Social distancing will be the biggest problem to overcome. School buildings and curriculums are built on students collaborating, sharing, and working together. Federal grants will help schools pay the costs of fighting COVID-19. IPS is getting $16.5 million. Administrators doubt that will be enough. Just something simple, enough hand sanitizer for 30,000 children and thousands of teachers and other employees is expected to cost IPS hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hmm.